Hello. In this short video, I will show you how to set up Behringer UMC 404 HD audio interface for a live gig, where the drummer starts playback from digital audio workstation to PA system, and want to hear a click track, playback, and other band members' audio in the headphones. I will show you two simple setups with Studio One Professional version 5. The idea of making this educational video regards to lack of instruction from a manufacturer. Only we have, when open the box is a quick start guide, so there are a lot of questions on the internet, how to properly set up this unit for rehearsals and shows. After unpacking, connecting USB and AC adapter, please download and install drivers, which you can find on Behringer.com official site in the download section. You can find a link to download page in the description of this video. Let's see the first setup for playback and monitoring for a drummer or any another band member who can start playbacks from DAW and want to hear a click track. Open Studio One and check that your UMC 404 HD is connected via USB and chosen as a playback device in Studio One. Then, create a new song with a 16 or 24-bit resolution and 44.1 kHz or higher sample rate depending on what resolution and sample rate you have in your playback files. It is better if it will be the same in the project and in your files to avoid any problems at the live performance. Next, open the options menu. Go to song setup and audio in out setup and click on outputs tab. Let's create new stereo output for our click and playback mix that we will listen to when performing and name it monitor or mon to be short. Now drag and drop your audio playback and click tracks to your workspace. That will create two audio tracks. Root click track to monitor output. Now, with a pressed in a B position physical monitor AB knob on audio interface, you will hear a click track in headphones. To route the playback track to the headphones, make a send to mon output in the sends tab on the playback channel. Now you can hear click and playback in the headphones. You can control overall volume by the physical volume control on audio interface, called phones. Also, you can adjust the volume of the click track by controlling click channel volume in DAW and adjust the volume of playback by controlling the send value on the playback channel. Playback output for your PA system should be connected via L and R main outputs using XLR or TS cables and routed to your PA mixer where the whole band is connected and controlled by your sound engineer. You can control the overall volume going to PA mixer by the physical volume control on a front panel of audio interface called main out. Honest question here, when performing, how I can hear other members, singer, bass player, guitar player, and others. To make it, you can connect external audio, going from the external mixer's aux outputs to UMC's input channels via XLRs or TS cables. I mean PA mixer, where other musicians are connected, and where your main outputs are connected to translate playback to PA system. But there is a little problem, in B position of monitor knob, that allows us to listen to the playback in headphones, and going to 1 and 2, 3, and four playback outputs, we can't hear audio coming from audio inputs due to the architecture of this audio interface. But I found two solutions in this setup. First, you can monitor incoming audio in your DAW. Create a stereo audio track in your project and click on the monitor knob. Basically, inputs one and two will be chosen as audio inputs on this stereo channel. So, if you connected external audio from other band members, you will hear it and control the volume via this channel volume fader. Be sure that your buffer settings are as low as possible to minimize hearable latency, which will make your playing uncomfortable. While your project has very little workload and no processing of tracks, and the DAW is only a device for playing audio, this monitoring option is possible, but not preferred. You can try using it on a rehearsal first to make a decision is it comfortable or not for you to perform using this method. Need to mention that maybe you will need only one input channel to monitor external audio, so create mono channel in your DAW for program monitoring setup. It depends of aux setup of PA mixer. So, to be more stable, you can use another way. Analog monitoring way. 
you can add an additional piece of gear to your setup. Analog Mixer. Where you will mix playback and click, going from playback outputs 3 and 4, and other band audio, going from PA Mixer. In this method, you should plug your headphones into that external analog mixer. Now I want to show you a second setup that you can use for performing, using only Behringer UMC 404 HD, listening comfortably to a playback, click, and other band members' audio without any latency and other devices. Let's change our routing in the DAW for a new setup. Route your main output to outputs 3 and 4, and route click to output 1 and 2. Connect playback outputs 3 and 4 with a PA mixer via TS or RCA cables to translate a playback for an audience. Connect other band audio, going from PA mixer to inputs 1 or 2, or both of them via XLRs or TS cables, depending on your PA mixer aux setup. Set the right amount of gain for incoming audio to be audible and non-clipping by configuring the corresponding gain knob of channel or channels that you are using for incoming audio. Plug in your headphones to an audio interface. Put the button monitor A, B to A position when the button is released. Now you can control the mix of playback and click, going from DAW, with external audio, going from an aux, output of PA mixer to your input channels one or two or both of them with the mix control at the front of your audio interface. If you want to hear more playback and click, move the mix control to the right. If you want to hear more incoming audio from PA mixer, move it to the left and find a right balance for your ears. Check the stereo mono button to be in mono position, so you will hear incoming audio from PA mixer at the center of audio field in your headphones. You can control overall volume going to your headphones by the physical volume control on audio interface, called phones. This setup has only two disadvantages. First, you connect to your PA mixer without balanced XLR cables, and you may need a stereo DI box to connect in some situations. So, if you will use this setup, make sure to contact the sound engineer and find out if a DI box is needed and who will provide it, you or him. And the second, you couldn't control playback volume via physical knobs because playback outputs 3 and 4 volume are not controlled by any physical knobs on the interface. You can control it in your DAW project or at the PA mixer. Also, in a fifth version of Studio One there is a new show page where you can set up your set list with the same audio routing. In the conclusion, I want to say that if you are searching for a low-budget solution to run playbacks and have monitoring with a click, as a drummer or another band member, Behringer UMC 404 HD could solve your tasks as a self-sufficient unit or as a part of setup, as I mentioned as a first setup solution. So, I hope it might help someone to make the right decision about buying or not buying this unit. Thanks for watching.